So hello my dear students and learners. In the series of data structures and algorithm, today I am going to discuss how to reverse a single link list. Okay, so reversing means we are going to reverse the entire list. That means the first node will become the last node and the last node of the list will become the first node and all the intermediate nodes will change their position accordingly. Okay, but you must keep one thing in your mind that we are not going to change the data part of the node. Okay, the respective node data part will remain intact. We are just going to change the next part of the node. Okay, so entire list will be reversed. Okay, so let's have a look on the board. So suppose the return type of the function is void. That means when this function will get called, it will not return anything. So name of the function is reverse. Okay, and it is not accepting any parameter. Okay, now first what we have to do, we have to declare some node pointer. Now, uh, here three different node pointers will be required to reverse the list. So first we will declare the three node pointers. Okay, so I will discuss that how these three pointers will work with the help of this figure. So first we are declaring three node pointers. So, struct node asterisk x asterisk y and asterisk z so three different node pointers x y and z we have declared so after declaring these three different node pointers name then we will draw a link list having four different nodes okay so let's have the figure okay so suppose the address of the first node is 100 address of the second node is 200 address of the third node is 300 and address of the fourth node is 400 so this is the first node of the list okay this is the second node this is the third node and this is the fourth node of the list now you know that in the head pointer this is the head pointer which will contain the address of the first node and which is 100 here okay now we are assuming that the data part will contain the integer value as we have declared the structure in the first program so I will request each one of you to before going through this video you just check my previous videos okay so I have already declared the structure the node as a structure so suppose the data part are containing integer value so 7 12 okay some random integer value we are considering okay so 7 12 9 and 8 <coughs> Okay, so this 100, next node is 200, so 100 next part will contain 200, 200 next node is 300, so 200 next part will contain 300, and 300 next node is 400, so 300 next part will contain 400, and 400 is the last node of the list, so 400 next part will contain a null value. Okay, so this is the last node. So the nodes are connected like that. Okay, now we have to reverse the node. Reverse the node means the entire list will be reversed. That means the first node will now become the last node and the last node that is the fourth node will become the first node and the intermediate nodes also will be change their next part. Okay, now here we are not going to change the data part of the nodes at all. That means 100 after reversing the entire list, the 100 Data part will contain 7, 200 data part will contain 12, 300 data part will contain 9 and 400 data part will contain 8. But only the next part of the node will be changed. Okay. Now we have already declared three different node pointers. Now first you know that you have to whenever you are working with a link list you have to start from the beginning of the list. So we are assigning the first node address and which is actually pointed by head to the pointer x that means x value will be the 100 okay that means x will now point to the first node so x is pointing to the first node okay now suppose y is not pointing right now anywhere so y value is null that means y is not pointing anywhere okay now whenever we have to start working with the first node now each and every node we have to reach starting from the first node to the last node and one by one what you have to do we have to change the next spot that is the address part of the node 
okay one by one but as i have already told you that data part we are not going to change okay so we have to execute a loop to traverse the entire list so what is the condition while x not equals to null that means the node to which x is pointing to if it is not equals to null that means it is a valid node that means its next part will be changed okay so until and unless x is not pointing to null that means x is pointing to a valid node this operation will continue so we are executing this loop to traverse the entire list okay now we will draw the another figure so that will actually depict that what will be the actual scenario after reversing the entire list okay so again we will draw four different nodes okay that will actually give you the flavor of what but how will it looks like after reversing the linked list okay so let's have the figure okay so look at the board so the exact same four nodes i have drawn i have only mentioned the address part and the data part but the next part will be changed since the list will be reversed now we will start executing the while loop now look at the condition of while here the value of x is 100 now x is pointing to 100 so 100 is not equals to null that means condition is true so we will have an entry into, inside the while loop so what we are going to do currently you check x is pointing to the first node y is pointing to null and z that we have declared we have not assigned any value to the z pointer so first we are writing z is equals to y that means z is coming in place of y so what will be the value of z right now the z value will be null okay so currently the y value is null so after writing this statement z value will also be null okay now after that what we will do we will bring back the y pointer to the place of x okay so for that what we have to write we have to write y is equals to x okay so y is equals to x means the x and y value will be same okay that means right now y will also point to the first node where x is pointing to okay so both x and y are now pointing to the first node okay and z is not pointing to anywhere that's why z value is equals to null okay then what will happen we will shift the x pointer okay so x is currently at the first node so if we want to shift the x pointer from first node to the second node what do you have to write you know that we have to write x is equals to x arrow next okay so i have told you so many times in my previous videos that if x is pointing to the first node the second node is being pointed by x arrow next okay so x will be shifted to its next node why because x is now pointing to 100 so what is the value of its next pointer next part it is 200 so it is x arrow next and what is this this is 200 so x arrow next value is equals to 200 so this 200 will now be the new value of x so x is now pointing to 200 okay so x has been shifted from first node to the second node y is now pointing to the first node and z is not pointing to anywhere that means z value is null okay now look at the figure which we will actually obtain after reversing the entire list okay so here the 100 node currently which is the first node of the list after reversing the list it will become the last node of the list and you know that the linked list last node next part always contain a null value so if it is going to be the last node its next part has to be a null okay so we have to store a null value over there okay you check a null value needs to be there because this will be the last node of the list okay so what you have to write this 100 next node which pointer is pointing to 100 y okay so y next y arrow next okay so y arrow next means this so it where we have to store a null value now my dear student you check that null has already been stored in which pointer z so if we write y arrow next is equals to z that means the null value will be stored in the next part of the first node that is 100 okay now with this help of this four statements we will execute the loop and we will check whether the remaining nodes next part are getting changed accordingly or not and whether these statements are being able to reverse the list or not okay so we will check each and every node individually one by one now 
currently x is pointing to 200 okay so the current value of x is 200 and it is not equals to null that means it is true so what will happen now new value of z will be current value of y what is the current value of y current value of y is equals to 100 so the same location z will now also point to so z value will also be 100 so right now z is equals z is not null it it is 100 so z value is 100 okay now after coming to the place of y okay z has already come now what we will do we will see the y pointed to the place of x so now you check we have already written that what will be the new value of y new value of y will be x so what is the new my previous value of x it is 200 so new value of y will be also 200 because y is equal to x okay now we have shifted the y pointer also then what we will do we will see the x pointer okay and this statement we have also written so new value of x will be current value of x arrow next so x will also be shifted to its next node that is x will be x arrow next so x has also been shifted so you have you looked have you noticed that what we have done we did we have uh, bring back the z pointer from null to the place of y y has been shifted to the place of x and x has been shifted to its next node okay so again the so now what will happen this last statement will be checked will be executed what is the last statement y arrow next is equals to z that means you check now we have to change the next part of the 200 now 200 is being pointed by which pointer y pointer so the 200 next part means y next part so y arrow next so y arrow next now what we have written y arrow next is equals to z now what is the current value of z current value of z is equals to 100 so the y arrow next means 200 next part will be 100 y arrow next this is y 200 its next part that means 200 next part will be current value of z and current value of z is 100 so 200 next part will contain 100 okay so these changes will happen now why 200 next part will contain 100 because you check before you are saying 200 was the next node of 100 so 100 next node was 200 so when we will reverse the list so this will be the first node this will be the second node this will be the third node this will be the fourth node okay that means after 200 100 will come okay that's why 200 next part is containing 100 okay so the nodes next part is getting changed okay now look will be again be executed what is the current value of x it is 300 okay so you check the condition is still true it is 300 okay so 300 it is not equals to null okay so this statement will be executed now what is the current value of what will be the current value of z the z will be shifted to the place of y so z will be shifted to the place of y so z will now point to the second node that is 200 now after that y will go to the place of x so now y will be shifted to the third node that is it will point to 300 and after that x will be shifted to its next node that means x will be x arrow next so x is coming to the last node that is 400 okay then after that what we will have to do we have to change the next part of the 300 now 300 is being pointed by y that means y arrow next so y arrow next will be what y arrow next will be z what is the current value of z current value of z is equal to 200 that means y arrow next that means 300 next part will be 200 okay so before reversing 200 next node was 300 but when you will reverse then 300 next node will be 200 that's why 300 next part is containing 200 okay now for the last time the loop is executing because x is now pointing to the last node so x is equals to 400 and it is definitely not equal to null so the condition is true so what will happen now z value will be again updated so what will be the current z value current z value will be the present value of y so z will come to the place of y now then what will happen y will come to the will go to the place of x so y will now point to 400 that is the last node and then what will happen look at this statement x is equal to x arrow next currently x is pointing to 400 and what is the value of x arrow next 400 next is what 400 next is equal to null so when we will shift x to x arrow next then x value will now become null so x will be null mind it so now the x value has become null okay and after that what will happen the y next part now y means 400 this node is being pointed by y that means 400 next part we have to change so what will be the 400 next part y arrow next part means 400 next part is equals to z so what is z z is equals to look at z 
is pointing to the third node that is 300. So its next part that means Z Y next part that is 400 next part will contain 300. Okay. So after that what will happen? Again the loop will try to execute but unfortunately the value of X has become null. Okay. Value of X has become null. That means the condition become false. Okay. So now we will arrange the nodes again. Okay. So so that we can understand that it had exactly reversed. Okay. So we will draw the figure once again to understand whether the list has been reversed properly or not. Okay. So I have already drawn the four nodes. Okay. Along with the head pointer. So this is the head pointer which will actually contain the address of the first node. Okay. Now this 400 will become the first node. So we will write 400 first followed by 300 then 200 and 100. So after reversing that will be the scenario. Okay. Now check the 400, the 400 data part and next part. It is 8 and 300. Then 300 next part. 300 data part is 9. Next part is 200. Then 200 data part is 12. 200 next part is 100. And 100 data part is 7. And next part is null. Okay. So my dear students look at the board. So 400 has now become the first node. Now 400 next part is 300. Yes, it is 300. So it, it has become the second node. Now 300 next part containing 200. So 200 has become the third node. So this is the third node. Okay. And 200 next part is containing 100. That means 100 is the next node. So this is the fourth node. Okay. And 100 next part is containing null. That means it has become the last node of the list. So you check that 400 was the last node before reversing now it has become first node and 100 was the first node of the list now after reversing it has become the last node since its next part is containing a null value and 200 was the second node it has become the third node and 300 was the third node it has become the second node okay so you check that the list has been reversed now one thing you have to change that before reversing the 100 was the first node that's why head was containing 100 that was the first node right now the first node address is 400. So we have to store this 400 value to the head. Okay. So now what is head? So head is the address of the first node that is 400. So what? Now you check that which pointer is pointing to 400. Look at this figure. The 400, this is 400. Now which pointer is pointing? X has already become null. Okay. So 400 is pointed by the pointer Y. Okay. So we have to write head is equals to Y. That means head value will be the value of y that is 400. So head will contain 400. That means 400 will be the first node. 400 next part 300 will be the second node. 300 next part is 200. So it will be the third node. 200 next part is containing 100. So it is the fourth node. And 100 next part is containing null. So it is the last node. So that will be the end of the function reverse. Okay. So my dear students, I hope that you have understood the concept very clearly. So thanks for watching. Please take care. Have a nice day.